little booktube. My name is Elizabeth and I read bouquins and books. And this is the F-Top book tag. I was tagged by Gina at Gina Stainer Books and the original was created by Daniel at Guilty Feet. I will leave links to both channels down below. Now, at first I wondered, how am I going to answer this? I don't read F-Top books. So I looked a bit at the prompts and I looked at the books I had and it turns out that I do read quite a bit of F-Top books to the point that I will ask for your indulgence. Please don't judge me too harshly for enjoying these F-Top books. <laughs> so prompt number one, a book that was F'd up in a good way. Now for this, I chose Children of the Black Sabbath by Anne Hébert. Anne Hébert is a French Canadian author, a very respected French Canadian author. She's the sort of author we study in school. So as you can see, there are nuns on the cover. It means there are nuns in the book and they are caught in a fight against evil. Um, and to give you an idea of how effed up that is, I will give you content warnings. Um, that if there were content warnings for this book, there would be warnings for violence, rape, incest, drugs, orgies, alcohol that make you go blind, um, ritual murder that may or may not involve babies, um, people being burned alive, uh, a lot of delicious things like that. So it's completely effed up. At first, I thought it was realistic fiction because that is what Anne Bayer writes. And I was horrified. My God, what is this? And then I understood this was some sort of satire. And by the end of it, I was giggling and rooting for the devil. <laughs> so this is effed up. Prop number two, a book that was effed up in a bad way. Now, the reason why it was bad for this particular book is not because of the book, it's because of the context. This is Hysteric by Nelly Arcan, another French Canadian author. Now, this is the author, that is Nelly Arcan. Now, um, this book is a suicide letter, a long suicide letter, and the narrator is a writer called Nelly, who has previously published one book, one novel, that was based on her experience as an escort. Now, Nelly Arcan, the author, this is her second book, and her previous book had been some auto-fiction about her life, her experience as an escort. So the parallels are obvious. And I said, this is a suicide letter. Well, it turns out that a few years after writing this book, Nelly Arcan did commit suicide. Um, so the, the effed up part about it is knowing that while she wrote this, she was in such pain, she was being suicidal. She was thinking of killing herself. So this is effed up in a bad way. It's not because it's a bad book, it's just the context that makes it very effed up. Prompt number three, a book that everyone loves, but that you think is just effed up. Now this one, I twisted it a bit because I'm part of the people who love it. It's The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. Now, when I read that, I was a teenager. I was 13, 14 years old and I just, thought it was an awesome story, very good book, and I never thought for one second that it was effed up. And then I saw the review by Hélène from uh, Books from Lennis. Uh, I will leave a link to her review down below. And it's a review with spoilers, so that you know, and I will include the spoilers here too, because that is what makes it effed up. Um, the, what makes it effed up is that uh, D'Artagnan, when you think of it, is a rapist. He rapes Milady. And we are made to think of D'Artagnan as the hero and Milady as the villain. And then, in fact, Milady, when she wants to get revenge for that, she is treated as somebody who is crazy, who is awful, evil, and everything you want. And we are made to think of D'Artagnan and his friends as heroes. And when you think of it, they are horrible. They, they, it's effed up. We are not supposed to root for rapists. We're supposed to root for, for the strong woman because Milady is an incredibly strong woman. And she's the villain in this. So this is effed up. I like it. I'm part of the people who still like the book, but I recognize that it's effed up. Prompt number four, sexy A effed up. I don't exactly know what sexy A means, but I will just interpret it like pretty much everybody did on booktube, meaning a book with some sort of sexual content that is effed up. For that, I went to my <clears throat> collection of erotica, a collection of one book, of this one book that is Exploits of a Young Don Juan by Guillaume Apollinaire. Um, this is the story of a young man, he's about 14, 15, who discovers he has a penis and that he can do fun things with it. And he discovers that with the servants, with his younger sister, his aunt, his older sister, and uh, he, he's completely creepy. And um, 
the notion of consent is not there at all. So it's, it's, it's effed up. It's really, really effed up. And oh, by the end of the book, spoiler alert, because of course we read these kind of books for the story, one of the sisters and the aunt are pregnant, but all is well that ends well because they find husbands. So everything's okay. Rejoice, people of Booktube, it ends well. It's just completely, completely effed up. Completely. Prompt number five, effed up for kids. I don't know if this was actually written for kids, but I know a lot of kids read it, and myself, I read it, I was quite young, and I bought it with the school. So that is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. There is, of course, the racism that is to be expected in a book written in the southern United States in 19th century. And, but beyond that, uh, beyond the casual racism of slaves being happy and Indians being criminals, um, what is effed up about it is the ending. Um, so a bit of a spoiler alert in there, the villain dies at the end, but he dies a gruesome death. It's, it's horrible. And to think that kids will read that, it's effed up. Effed up. Prop number six, an effed up classic. Now, depending on the version of f up, we could come up with many, the Three Musketeers being one. Uh, but I decided to go for The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky, because this is one of the most f up families in classic books. Um, first things first, the father and the son compete for the same woman. So that, that is quite f up to begin with. And then there are the, the rivalries and the hatred between the brothers, between father and sons, between pretty much everybody involved. Uh, nobody likes the, the father. Also, there's plenty of religion in there, so you had this big contrast between this effed up family and these aspirations of what is right, what is wrong, and these uh, deep thoughts. Also, in the construction of the book, there are great digressions about uh, the great inquisitor. And it's an effed up book when you think about it. It's not a straightforward story with straightforward characters. It's effed up. Prompt number seven, effed up in translation. Now, a few books that I showed you are in translation for you English speakers, but one of that particularly fits the prompt is The Nazi and the Barber by Edgar Hilsenrath. This was actually published in translation because the original German was unpublishable at the time. So it was first published in English in the, in the United States. So the premise of this story is that so the main character is, I quote the back of the book, the bastard son of a whore, and he has a horrible childhood. And uh, one of the few comforts of his childhood is his friendship with a neighbor family, who is a family of Jews. Now, when the Second World War happens, or actually the Hitler regime happens, our hero becomes a Nazi. He becomes an SS and he works in concentration camps. Now, at the end of the war, he realizes that life will not be wonderful for former SS. So he thinks that the best way to survive this war will be to pass off as a Jew. And he decides to impersonate his friend, um, his childhood friend, whom he perfectly knows, will not come back because he saw him die in the camps. So that, that is the effed up premise of this quite effed up book. Prompt number eight, effed up nonfiction. This is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Berendt. Uh, this is true crime, so to begin with, I think all true crime is a bit effed up because as a reader, I'm being entertained by someone being the victim of a crime. So that, that is quite creepy to begin with. Um, I'll read you the back. Uh, so this is the ingredients of the books. Genteel society ladies who compare notes on their husband's suicides. A hilariously foul-mouthed black drag queen. A voodoo priestess who works her roots in the graveyard at midnight. A morose inventor who owns a bottle of poison powerful enough to kill everyone in town. A prominent antiques dealer who hangs a Nazi flag from his window to disrupt the shooting of a movie. And a redneck gigolo whose conquests describe him as a walking streak of sex. So um, th that's the ingredients of the book. It's about the antiques dealer killing the gigolo who was working for him and who was his lover. And if I remember correctly, it took three trials to know whether the antique dealer was guilty of premed premeditated murder, of manslaughter, or was completely innocent because it was self-defense. So um, that is an effed up story. Prop number nine, illustrated effed up. Now this one I had to stretch or actually completely change the meaning of effed up because I don't read that many graphic novels. Um, the only illustrated books I read are comics, so comic books don't tend to be effed up. 
So I went for effed up in the sense of mind-blowing and extraordinary yet incomprehensible. And this is Quantum, A Guide for the Perplexed by Jim Al-Khalili. Um, it says, a guide for beginners. And there are pictures on pretty much every page. So it is illustrated. And it is effed up because quantum physics is just, it's mind blowing and it's effed up to think that the entire world is based on that. That, that is the, the basic principle of the entire universe is quantum physics. So it's effed up when you think about it. And finally, prompt number 10, a book that is just misery porn solely designed to convince you how effed up the world is. For that, I don't have a physical book because I went back to my memories of school reading. And it's a book called Grasping the Viper by Hervé Bazin, B-A-Z-I-N. Nobody reads him anymore. And we had to read that in high school. And it's the story of a twisted family, a mother who hates her kids and the kids hate the mother. It's just misery porn. It's just people mis being miserable. So I think we had to write a re review of the book or we had to answer questions about the book. And I remember that one of the one of the things that I wrote was along the lines. He wrote that I'm supposed to pity, but I just don't care. <laughs> so that's what I thought of the book. I just hated it from beginning to end, grasping the viper. I'm still wondering why they gave that to read to 15 year olds. Grasping the Viper. So that is my misery porn. That's the end of the tag. So thank you, Gina, for tagging me. Uh, I will not tag anyone because uh, I think everybody I know on BookTube has done the tag and it's been around for a few months now. So if you have not been tagged and you feel like doing it, please do it. You may be surprised to find that you read a lot of effed up books. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I hope I will see you in the next video. À la prochaine!